Tonight, we are gonna be making the most delicious pumpkin pie with a homemade crusty crust. Crusty crust? Flaky crust. You know what? Cheers. Let's bake. We're gonna start with our crust. For our crust, we got one and one eighth cups of flour. And I'm gonna do this right on my table because I like making pasta dough. That's what I'm used to doing. You could do this in a bowl if you want to. To that, I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of salt. Just cut that in. My handy dandy pastry cutter. And guys, I have done this entire recipe with just a knife. Cut everything with just a knife if you don't have a pastry cutter. To that, we will add half a cup of cold butter cut into small pieces. And now I'm just gonna start cutting that with my pastry cutter until I have a shaggy mess. And I got nothing larger than the size of a pea. That's what we're looking for. That's looking pretty good there. That's those pea sizes. I'm going to try not to touch it with my hands because I don't want to warm this up at all. Warm it up as little as possible. So now to that, I'm going to add three to four tablespoons of ice cold water. Let's start with three. And I just want to add enough water to where it'll come together into a dough. I'm going to try to do this by, and work it as little as possible so we don't warm that butter up and melt it with our hands. So we got our dough, touching it as little as possible, working it as little as possible. So now I'm just gonna pat that down into a disc. Like a half inch thick or so, three quarter inch thick. It does not have to be precise. And we're gonna just wrap that up and go into the fridge for one hour. While our dough is chilling in the fridge, we'll put together our filling. For our filling, which I'm just gonna whisk together, you could do this in a mixer, but I'm going to go with 15 ounces of pumpkin puree, one and a half cups of evaporated milk, three quarter cups of brown sugar, <laughs> and then our spice mixture. I got half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and half a teaspoon of ginger with a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Then we're gonna go in with two scrambled eggs and just whisk that all together until it's nice and smooth. All mixed up, we'll set that aside. I'm gonna preheat my oven to 425, let that dough finish chilling, and it'll be time to put together our pie. Our dough is chilled, time to unwrap it, and then we're gonna roll it out into about an eighth of an inch. Okay, 
So we are looking for about three quarters of an inch around the pan, so that's good. Let's cut it out. Okay, so now we'll just pop our pan over. Get the crust up. Go into the pan. Now all we'll do is take a fork and go around our pie, around our crust. Time to pour in our filling. We are ready for the oven, so I'm going to go into a 425 degree oven for 15 minutes, then I'm going to drop it to 350 and continue to bake for another 30 minutes. It's been time, so we're just going to stick a toothpick in, about an inch in. And that's still a little wet, so let that go for another 10-15 minutes. Gave it 10 more minutes, and now, about one inch in with our toothpick, it's coming out clean. So. I'm going to let this sit until it comes to room temperature and then we'll be ready to cut it and see what we got. Well, I think we did pretty darn good here. We got a nice flaky crust, beautiful delicious pie. Thanks for watching. Don't forget hit that like and subscribe. The recipes they're written out right in the description of the video below. I'll see you next time.